Well hey guys, this is uh, Silent Shooter here, um, I've been a gone for about three days and uh, before I left I posted something about using your joystick as your um, control for your armored vehicles or uh, other things without um, having the option in, in uh, Project Reality of changing that um, within the game. So basically um, I promised some people that I would um, show you guys the uh, control script and uh, I'll show you how to input that into your controls uh, con file in your profile and uh, we'll get you guys all using joysticks um, so first thing you want to do is go to your documents in uh, my case um, or wherever you have your battlefield 2 profile in my case it's in my documents so I'm gonna go to battlefield 2 profiles and um, I'm gonna use 0001 that too many zeros zero 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 one. nope okay that's my main profile I have other subsidiary profiles that I use sometimes but that's my main profile so I'm gonna go into that and uh, right click uh, controls dot con now I'm using a program called notepad plus plus but you can also do this in normal notepad or any other text editor hexadecimal editor so I'm going to right click on that and go to edit with notepad plus plus. Uh, wait for that to open and normally yours would bring you to the top of the file like this. Uh, I've been editing mine so it, so it brings me to the last saved point. So I'm going to go down and show you what you guys need to add. So you're going to want to find um, line 241 or wherever you see control map dot create uh, space default player input control map and that's um that's basically your mouse movements on your x and y axis and your z axis if you're uh you know using a, a blue streak mouse or something um, <clears throat> excuse me so uh i'm going to show you what you guys need to put in here and these two things are the uh lines of code that you need to put into your default player input control map so uh, basically what you're going to do is, I'll put these in the description, but you're just going to want to copy the first one, control C or whatever you're comfortable in copying, I'm assuming people know how to do that. Um, if you don't, then I really can't help you. Anyways, um, you want to you wanna copy that and find control map dot add axis to axis mapping, C underscore PI mouse look X and the IDF mouse doesn't really matter but and you're gonna wanna post post or paste however you say it the uh, first line that we copied right underneath that so now it's line 243 and basically that's your uh, yaw on the horizontal axis um, for your movement of your uh, turret and now we're gonna go back to the uh, well in this case notepad for me but the description and you're gonna wanna copy the other one the other line, uh, IDF game controller ID access underscore one zero one, and you're going to want to post uh, paste that underneath uh, control map dot add access to access mapping PI mouse look Y, and that's your pitch. Now you're going to want to post that or paste that right underneath that so it's in line two forty five. And then you're going to want to go up here to the save button, which mine's blanked out because I've already saved it and I haven't edited anything. So you're going to want to save that and that should allow you to use your joystick um, to control your armor and movements. It will also allow you to move your uh, infantry or anything that you would normally use your mouse to move with your joystick apart from cursors. Um, one thing I must add to this is I tested it on a Logitech Attack 3 um, joystick, which um, is a good joystick. It's fairly cheap, but it doesn't spring back right into the center. So for maximum efficiency with this, I would recommend having a joystick that would spring back directly to the center every single time. Um, in my previous video, you saw me trying to correct that. Uh, up and down, uh, my cursor was sliding up and down, so my crosshairs were moving up and down, and I was trying to correct that, and it's kind of hard. Uh, another thing I would recommend doing is um, when you are acquiring a target in your armored vehicle, you're going to want to um, stay not zoomed in at all. 
when using your joystick. At least it's my opinion. Uh, you might have a better joystick. You might be better at using it. Um, but I'm terrible at using my joystick, and I do this to add realism to the game uh, in another um, dimension, my dimension, the one I'm sitting in, not just the game. So um, what you're going to want to do is look when you're not in zoom to acquire your target. Sorry about that. It keeps popping up, and I'm not sure why. Um, and then zoom in to fine-tune your uh, crosshairs on the target. Um, otherwise, otherwise, when you're going over bumps and stuff, you might get freaked out and slide the uh, crosshair to the left, or right, up, down, where, whichever, which way. Um, but anyways, that's the quick tutorial on how to add that to your controls.con file in your profile. Um, here are the two things again if you want to copy them down. Again, they'll be in the description. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to help you guys with uh, some more um, fine-tuning of the game to add another aspect of realism um, to it for you guys. Uh, also, soon my new map will come out <laughs> um, as a uh, alpha. Um, Ross El Masri, which is a map I've been working on in the community mapping section. If you want to look, check that out, uh, be my guest. But for now, this is a silent shooter, and I'm glad I could help you guys um, add this uh, joystick control uh, and your mouse control. Um, oh, one more thing I should add. This doesn't override your mouse input, so if you want to switch to your mouse at any which any time when you're driving your vehicle or anything, you can use your mouth. Yeah, mouse. Uh, I just said mouth. <laughs> use your mouse uh, to override the joystick. Um, joystick overrides mouse uh, too. So that should be it. Um, I hope you guys learned something, and I hope I made it as clear as I possibly can. Um, I'm not sure if I can uh, make it any clearer. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the combat comment box. Um, if you want to see something, uh, I'll try my best to uh, help you out. Leave it in the comment box or uh, send me a uh, private message on uh, Project Reality Forums, uh, realitymod.com. Uh, I want to thank them for making this awesome game, awesome modification for Battlefield 2, and allowing us to, um, well, sort of freely modify it a bit. Uh, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd call this modifying it, but I'd call it adding another element to the game. Um, thanks again to all their work. They do a hard, hard work. Uh, it's not easy. Um, and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial.